Hello everyone. So we'll start with our first practical exercise. We'll start with table creation. Yes. So we already learned what is header table and what is item table. Now we will learn how to design a header table and then how to create a item table. We'll start with this practical example. Suppose I have a order header table. These are the columns of the header table. I have a order item table. These are the columns of the order item table. This is the data which we have to put in both the tables. We'll start with this particular example. Now, whenever you will receive such kind of requirement, the first thing you need to check how many domains and data element you will create. So we'll start with our first table. So in the first table, we have client number, order number, order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. These are the six columns in the first table. As of now, I'm not going for client number because in the future, I will explain why we are not going for the creation of domain and data element for client number. But we will create five domains and five data elements for these five columns. Now, firstly, we will start what is domain and what is data element. Now, what is domain? Domain tells us about the technical characteristics of any field or column. Now, what do you mean by technical characteristics? Now, the technical characteristics means its data type and the length. Suppose I am saying employee ID is of numeric type. It has a length of 10. How I can define those technical characteristics of a field or column? with the help of domain. My field or column name is employee ID and it is of numeric type. It has a length of 10. How I will define the characteristics with the help of domain. Suppose I'm saying employee name is of character type. It has a length of 40. So whenever you want to define the technical characteristics, you can always, always define with the help of domain. Now, now question comes, what is data element? Data element tells us how a field or column will be visible to end user. Suppose simple example. Suppose we are going for any site. Suppose, suppose I'll say I'm going for suppose IRCTC. Suppose rather than username, UN is written. Rather than password, PW is written. So everyone will not understand that UN, they have to put username and PW, they have to put password. So how you can give the descriptions or how you can give the descriptions to the field or columns with the help of data element? So data element tells us how a field or column will be visible to end user. Suppose I'm saying my technical name in SAP is EID, but if I will display EID to the end user, end user will not understand that EID is employee ID. So how I can give that EID is employee ID? with the help of data element. So data element tells us how a field or column will be visible to the end user. 
so whenever you get got a task to create a table so firstly think how many domain and data elements you have to create in that particular table so in the next video we will start with the creation of domain and data elements thank you